Google Webmaster Tools Index Status. Hello and welcome back again. In this quick video session, we're going to take a look at index status. Index status basically means um, Google telling you how many URLs um, it has in its index regarding your website. In this example, Google is saying, you know what, we've got 20 different, 24 different URLs in our index. Now, how can you use this data? Well, when you log into Google Webmaster Tools account, okay, under index status, you should be looking at um, the, the, the graph here in such way that if you see sudden drops or even sudden increase in the number of indexed pages okay you want to ask yourself why that is as in have you recently updated your website or has there been a, a problem so that the the index um, volume has dropped and so on okay so you can look at that data through index status in Google Webmaster Tools now we've got a tab here which says advanced if you press on this Google's gonna give us a few more filters to say okay you know what you can you know look at this information to say okay you know what is there any URLs blocked by robots.txt file okay you may have asked Google to remove some of the URLs and so on so you can you know look at that information by applying those filters okay so that option is there for you but at the end of the day it is simple and you should be definitely looking at the the changes as far as if there is dramatic decrease or increase in the number of indexed um, urls and if so you must know why that is okay and if we uh, you know explore this particular feature a little bit more we end up seeing information as far as uh, different variants of the url as we can see okay one with the dub 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 the other one with https and so on okay you can surely learn more but on the right hand side we've got site settings you can quickly tell google um, your preferred domain so therefore you should definitely be keeping only one version whether it's for your internal links or backlinks gathering, you should always just stick with one URL. And you can easily um, set that setting here under site settings. Uh, you simply choose one version and stick with that. Okay. So once again, Google index, index status is a way of you looking at the amount of URLs being indexed by Google. Now, that you can also do with this advanced search operator which is called the site colon and then let's say you want to know how many pages your competitors website has in Google's index right if that's the case all you do is you type in site colon and the URL of your competitors okay let's say let's say this is my competitor for example okay and I can say okay you know what Let's say this is the competitor. Let me search Google with that advanced search query. And as we can see, Google brings the same results as index status. So basically, Google is saying, I've got about 23 different URLs for this site when you use this search operator. Okay. So I thank you very much for learning with me. If you haven't subscribed to Rankia SEO Services YouTube channel, please do so because I will be adding more useful videos for website owners like me and you. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you in the next video session.